thing is to uh, remove the rocker arm from the top here. Now these have very small set screws. I think I'm using a 1.5 millimeter wrench, metric wrench to uh, loosen these set screws and you want to run these up enough because they actually engage in a flat in this pin that holds it in place. Once you get those loosened up you can just slide that pin right out pull that pin right out and now these rockers rocker arms will just come right off the rest of this arm assembly is held on by another nut here that holds the holder in place that holds the rocker arms in place so I'm going to loosen that up underneath there are the two other head screws then we can remove the head see once that's done the other two head screws are located here and here in addition to the ones here <clears throat> alright so you can see the holder for the rocker arms is off. I've got our intake exhaust valve here. They both feel like they've got really good spring tension. Like I said, I don't know that this engine, I have no idea what its history is, but when I had the head off the first time, it, uh, it looked really fresh, like maybe it had had a few tanks on it, if even that. The exhaust valve had some carbon buildup on it, but the intake valve looked brand new, as you'll see here momentarily. Let me loosen these head screws up I'll kind of loosen them in a diagonal pattern once all these screws are out and completely disengaged from the head momentarily you'll see okay I think it feels loose these rocker arms are gonna want to drop out so you want to just hold on to them and just pull the head right up and off and now we've got the head off and we can just pull this rocker arm off here I kind of lay them off to the side in the order they came you know intake side exhaust side just to keep them I think they're the same but I want to keep them pretty much together. So here's what the top of this piston looks like. I mean, it looks like a brand new engine. It doesn't even look like it's ever been run at all, but believe me, by the way, it's spitting oil out the rear end here. I did just finish running it, and it's got monster compression. So this thing does tend to look like it's in really good shape. Um, let me drop these head screws out, show you the exhaust exhaust valve and the intake valve see the exhaust valve now these both look brand new they look the same when they're brand new so you can see how much carbon buildup the exhaust valve does have so it's got some wear on it it's really hard to judge how much wear from just looking at that but I can guarantee you when they're brand new they both look like the intake valve I need to mention about these head screws is that uh, because of the design of the head there are two different links so when you go to put the thing back together you got to make sure that you know which ones go where the easiest way to tell that is just drop them in and you can tell by how far down they protrude they should both protrude the same amount this one's stuck by a little oil there or something it looks like so they both look like The longer screw goes in the rear, the shorter screw goes in the front. That's so just something to uh, keep in mind when you go to reassemble it. Alright, next I am going to go ahead and just pull these valves out. Just so I can, you know, inspect the stem and make sure I'm doing a good cleaning. I probably am going to soak that exhaust valve just for the heck of it. Uh, clean it up make it look new again I don't really need to do this but for the ex sake of this video I'm gonna do it uh, what I would do with in a situation like this is uh, with a head like this I'm just gonna wad up some clean paper towel 
and work over the top of that so that when I go to compress these springs I can uh, use a magnet to grab the clip and I can compress the spring grab that clip at least that's how it works in theory and I usually use just a small ignition wrench that's just about the right size to uh, push that outer spring down but big enough that allows me to grab that clip with a magnet Okay, so that wasn't too tough. I got the clip on the magnet. You can barely see it there. It's a little thing. That's why I like to use a magnet for that too. The spring came off and the keeper on the top. So that came off. Now let's see if this exhaust valve should just drop right out. And it comes out very easily. And you can see that it has a uh, has been used a little bit, not a whole lot. I mean, there's not any real thick buildup on there. I feel it, but it feels a little rough. But I'm going to go ahead and probably just drop this in a bin of acetone and let it soak for a while, and I'll wipe it down with a rag real good and see if I can't clean it up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the intake valve, but I'm going to stop the video now while I do that. I actually found a, uh, an ignition wrench that's just the right size to just go around that outer collar, depress it just enough so I can get in there and pull that clip out. So that's kind of a neat thing. So here comes the intake valve. You can see it's already on its way out here. It's just wanting to drop right out. That thing looks pristine. I mean, it looks like you could have just removed that from the package. So I always kind of try and lay, I know you really can't see where I'm laying my parts, but I lay them out in order so that they don't get uh, mixed up. And it's obviously best if you're doing this for the first time to really be careful about how you lay your parts out. Make sure that you know exactly where the parts are and how they came off in the order they came off in. Otherwise, uh, you put it back together and you may have an engine that doesn't run at all. But I've done this many, many times, so... I mean, I look like I'm as clean around here, especially now that this engine's kind of spitting oil, but I do have a method to the madness, and it works for me. So, in fact, I'm probably going to take a break here, clean up some of this area. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing is uh, digging into the crankcase here, so...